Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing 15 minute strategy. Hey, strategy. This is a this is a strategy that you use 15 minutes time frame. I want you to comment down below and tell me which time frame do you use. You know we have many time frames. You have five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour. There are people who are good with four hours. There are other people who are good with daily, weekly. They are sync traders. I want you to comment down below and let me know. Do you have a strategy that is for scalpers? Like you, you are in for some a few times, a few moment, for a few minutes, and then you close the trade. I want you to tell me if if you have that strategy. If you don't, watch this video to the end. Before I continue, avoid scammers pretending to be me. This is my only number. If you want my course, which is recorded, is ten. Uh, it's a thousand dollars. Twelve modules. If you want one strategy is $100, again, if you want any of my course, uh, just WhatsApp me, okay? So this video is for 15 minutes, uh, 15 minutes time frame. Even if we are using 15 minutes, guys, anytime we want to use 15 minutes, your confirmation will be by, by it will come from four hour. So you will combine I've never seen a strategy that only use one time frame. Any workable strategy needs two time frame. Let's say you use daily mostly. So if daily confirms, it has not told you to enter. For instance, daily can be an uptrend. You can be having an uptrend like this. And the market is starting to retrace. So yes, you're seeing the market is uptrend. And then you place your buy trade here. And you don't know that the retracement is reaching around here. So you can imagine anyone who entered at the peak here, they'll be taken on a drawdown. But if you have, if you know daily is a buy and it's a confirmation, you just need now an entry. So confirmation, four hours is the confirmation, entry is the 15 minutes. So four hours. So you use the higher time frame to confirm the site that you want to enter. And then you use the lower time frame for sniper entry. There are people who call it like that. Sniper entry is where you are not taking much drawdown. Sniper entry is where you are like you are you are double sure that this market will give me. So for our 15 minutes, okay. So in this case, what we want to see on four hour, we want to see a market either breaking a resistance. or a market that is breaking a support. So those are the two things we need to see. If this strategy of ours will be uh, viable, we want a market that it has broken a resistance. On four hour guys, pay attention. You need any structure that has broken resistance or support. So don't go to, four, to 15 minutes when a market is ranging. For instance, if this market is ranging like this and you want to go on 15 minutes to start looking for entry, now you are in trouble because this market has not broken either support or resistance. So majority of people will look at the end, they will go to 15 minutes when their four hour is looking like this. Only go to 15 minutes when your four hour has broken a resistance on the four hour or it has broken a support on four hour, okay? So that's what you're doing. So four hour is for confirmation of resistance or support breaking, then 15 minutes is for our sniper entry. For instance, this market has been ranging. Can you see? We have a ranging market. It's ranging, it is ranging, it's ranging. But what we have after the market range, you can see we, the range created this box. Can you see? The range created what? this box. So because the range created this box, we have like that. And we know if the market breaks this box, it is gonna go that distance down. Now the question is, how will you know that this is not a fake out? So most probably this market will first go the half of this distance the half is what is guaranteed. The other distance is not guaranteed. So if I was you, I won't 
really focus on TP2. So I'm just showing you how to trade any kind of a pair that you want to get your entries on on a lower time frame, 15 minutes. So yes, we have gotten an entry, a confirmation. This is a sell confirmation, but not an entry confirmation. So we have a confirmation, and I'll show you why I'm saying that. We have a confirmation, yes, but not yet entry. So yes, the market will sell, but the reason why I'm saying not yet entry is because, <clears throat> you know why? It's because the market can do what? The market can be a fake out. You can enter this sale and the market starts to go up and you lose your money. So we are targeting, if we get an entry, we are get targeting about 28 pips, guys. Now, the thing is, once you get the sell confirmation, once I get the sell confirmation, I need to go to my 15 minutes. So I will go to my 15 minutes. So I just go to my 15 minutes and I will mark my support. This is my support. So if you see what I've done, support is created when a red candle is followed by a green candle. So if this 15 minutes, the support has not been broken, I cannot enter, that is the rule. So let's see if the support is broken. You can see the tempting of support and I will adjust. They, have, they are not yet breaking. Remember, we are not interested to buy. So I'm not even minding my buy zone, my how market is behaving on a buy. I'm really minding, is the market breaking? Is the market, is this market breaking? Can see how the market is rejecting that support. And this is what tells you that that area is very strong. So be patient. The only thing you can do is to be patient. So if you come on four hour, uh, if you if you only analyze, you want your confirmation of 15 minutes and you had not taken five, five, four hours, you'll be attempted to enter by because the 15 minutes, the resistance is being broken. So someone will enter by here, they will lose money. You will enter market here by, and then as you're waiting for the buy to continue, the market, you will lose money. And you can see how rejecting, it is rejecting our area. And eventually the market does what? The market breaks. And you see the market has broken. So once the market has broken like that, remember what we said, guys. You remember what we said? We said this market is coming, which distance? Is coming to the half and eventually where? To the full distance. The market is coming either here, those are eight pips, or it is coming to the full distance, 44 pips. So you come, you do your short position. So these, the eight pips are the what is guaranteed. You can see the eight pips is what is guaranteed. When you go to four hours, that is how the market is looking like. You can see how the market is looking like. That is what the market is looking like. So let's go to 15 minutes. And you can see if the trade hit the take profit immediately with zero retracement. So if you had put 0 0.1, you have made your $8. If you had put lot of one, you have made $80. If you have continued using lot size, let's see if it reached to the distance. Let's see if it reached to the distance. So you can see the market never hit the distance. That's why I tell people, don't target. Don't target the complete distance. The market did not hit the full distance. The market, sometimes it fails to hit the full target, but to the half, it has to hit. That is the first example. So you get your entry from, you see, when, you, when you're looking for confirmations and entry and strategy, you're not minding the pips you're getting. You're minding, did I analyze and did the market hit my take profit? So those were eight pips. And the reason why it's eight is because it's OUDSD. OUDSD, does, it's not volatile. DSD is not a volatile pair, so it goes slow. So there is another pair I want, there is another example I want to show you. Let me show you another example, and you can you can see that example how it is. It is that example is March. I had that trade here on March. 
April. March 2024. Here is the example. So you can see, I have told you for you to notice if your trade is viable, you need first four hour to give your hands up. So the four hour has broken that resistance. So you know if resistance has been broken, that is your first thing, BOS at resistance. So if BOS has been broken, this market is going this distance. I have shown you with a, uh, a, a support breaking and now this is the resistance breaking. I understand that this market will go this distance on top, mostly half the distance. If I get an entry with 15 minutes, it can complete, but not guaranteed. So how I will trade this on 15 minutes, I need to go to 15 minutes and look for an opportunity of buying. Yes, it is 24, but if you enter immediately, what if it's a fake out? What if this is a trade is a fake out? So what you do, you will go to your 15 minutes time frame. That's what you'll go. That's what you go and do to your 15 minutes time frame. And you will be looking for a resistance to be broken. So let's see if your resistance has been created. You can see no resistance is created. The market is still going up and you have your resistance created. So if they break that resistance, the market gonna buy. And that market has already touched the half. So let's see if this market continued to buy or what happened. Did it continue to buy after resistance broke on 15 minutes? You can see when resistance breaks on 15 minutes, it's a sure bet, the market completes. So they are the ones, they are those that complete the distance. They are the ones that does not complete the distance. But the bottom line is, guys, you have to understand that every time you have a breaking of structure on four hour, you have to go to, it's called what? You have to go to 15 minutes. And the reason why we are going to 15 minutes, we are going to 15 minutes for one reason. We are going to 15 minutes for this reason. We don't want to be a fake out. We don't want our trade to be a fake out, okay? So let me do the last one. So if this is our trade, this is the last one, guys. If the market has broken this ranging, you can see that is a ranging. The thing I have said, if the market breaks on you on, on four hour, just go to the 15 minutes. So if the market breaks on you on four hour, before you, you decide, go to 15 minutes. So this is our four hour, that is our half distance. If you are lucky, it will finish the full distance. So go to 15 minutes and wait for the market to do what? To break the current support, like that. Just put like that, wait for the market to break. So you wait for the market to break. Let's see if they broke, have they broke? and then you re-enter you. This is what is called sniper entry. So you can only enter if 15 minutes does what? Breaks that current support. Let's see what happens. Did the market, did the market hit your take profit? It hit your take profit, you can see. So always use ATR because if you, if you use tight stop loss, if this, this was 18 pips, for me, I don't use stop loss, I use exit mode. So you use ATR, of course, you can use the highest, the, the, the highest resistance, the, sec, the most highest resistance for your stop loss, or it's called a low high for your stop loss. And you can see, now you are sure bet that what you saw on four hour, 15 minutes gave you confidence. That's how we trade on 15 minutes. I hope you have enjoyed the video.
Make sure you subscribe if you want my mentorship. Just to tap me. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.